Hello everyone. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, making this video on Telangana State Exam 2019, fourth May shift one on uh, the questions of functions. So in Telangana State Exam, we have 80 questions for mathematics, and only two questions are from functions where you have your domain, range, composite, inverse of function, etc. So these are the two problems. This is the first one where you have to find the domain of this function. And the second one uh, where domain and range is given, function is given, you have to find uh, the inverse of the function. Okay, so let us uh, begin with the first problem. So what we have been given here is fx equals sine inverse of this logarithm plus square root of this. So how do I go on and compute the domain of this function? So domain usually means all the values of x for which fx will have a value, okay, real value. So uh, right here, I have a sine inverse function, sine inverse. We know that uh, sine inverse can only act on values which are between minus one and plus one. And why is that? Because when you look at the graph of sine function, it is like this. It oscillates between plus one and minus one, that's it. So sine inverse will take only these values between plus one and minus one. It cannot take any other value. Hence this thing has to lie between minus one and plus one. There is no other way. If this was a tangent inverse, then that would have been a different story because tangent can have any values uh, plus infinity to minus infinity so that's a whole different story but for sine inverse uh, this value can only be between minus 1 to plus 1 both values included all of course now how do I get rid of this log function I just if I just take uh, 4 raised to the power minus 1 over here this 4 will get cancelled out and I will be left with this right because the base is 4 if if I want to have a lower value of minus 1 then x by 4 should be 4 raised to the power minus 1 and if the upper value is plus 1 then this has to be equal to 4 raised to the power plus 1 so 4 raised to the power minus 1 is what 1 by 4 it's easy x by 4 and 4 raised to the power 1 is 4 so x will lie between what 1 and 16 so that does for the first part of this problem which is sine inverse now we have to look at this so square root of 17 x minus x square minus 16 square root of 17 x minus x square minus 16 is given to us now we know that this value can only be greater than or equal to 0 if it's less than 0 then it becomes uh, the value of this square root will be an imaginary number and we don't want that so 17 x minus x square minus 16 is greater than or equal to 0 so if I take the minus sign uh, uh, minus 1 and multiply on both sides I will get x square minus 17 x plus 16 0 multiplied by minus 1 will remain 0 but do not keep the same sign over here it will get inversed less than equal to zero you have to uh, make sure whenever you have an inequality and if you multiply with minus one on both sides the sign will change okay now we just need to factorize this so this is minus 17 and 16 here so minus one and uh, minus 16 so x minus one and x minus 16 will be the factors x minus one into x minus 16 is less than equal to zero so I will uh, draw the wavy curve. So this function will be positive here, negative here, positive here. So what do we want? We want uh, values for which it is less than or equal to zero. So these values. So x lies between 16 and 1. So for both the conditions, we can see that x is lying between 1 and 16. Both values are included, 1 and 16 which is the option, option D. 
so that's it for the first problem now let us have a look at the second problem the second problem states that f from 1 to infinity equals to 0 to infinity so this is the domain and this is the range and fx is also given to us x minus 1 by x then what is f inverse fx so the most easy way to do these kind of problems is substitute fx for y and put it like this then solve x in terms of y you will get your answer so x minus 1 by x is what x square minus 1 by x is y if I uh, take x over there and bring it here, so I will get what x square minus xy minus 1. So just treat y as a constant and solve this quadratic equation x square minus x minus 1 equals to 0. Just treat y as a constant. So how do we solve these kind of problems x equals to minus b? What is minus b here is minus y plus minus square root of what b square. b square is what minus y square minus 4 a c minus 4 into a is 1 and c is what c c is this uh, minus 1 by 2 a 2 of a a is what 1 so x equals to y plus minus square root of y square plus 4 by 2 so uh, if I substitute uh, fx for y, I just substituted uh, fx by y, I will get this as square x plus 4 by 2. Now substitute f inverse of x instead in place of x, what I will get f inverse of x. Wherever there is x, you replace it by f inverse of x. So f of f inverse of x will be what? x over here as well f of f inverse of x will be x again so x square plus 4 by 2 so f inverse of x can take two values x plus minus square root of x square plus 4 by 2 and here you have both these values so which one is correct so now you will have to look at the domain it, it goes from 1 to infinity so uh, x over here it goes from the value of 1 to infinity right so uh, so, so when we uh, look look over here this x cannot go from uh, uh, less than 0 so when you have x plus square root of x square plus 4 by 2 you have two options over here x minus square root of x square minus 4 by 2 S sorry this is plus 4 so this value will be greater than x always always greater than x so x minus a value which is greater than x divided by 2 you will get 0 less than 0 sorry a negative value and this will always be positive so the domain of f of x is positive number right goes from 1 to infinity range is uh, from 0 to infinity so negative is not showing in the picture anywhere so we will discard this value and the f inverse of x will be this value uh, so that's about it for uh, this video so i guess sets only two questions are asked out of uh, 18 but they're not that tough so uh, if you have done these uh, problems it's like uh, two three questions okay uh, any comments or doubt please for uh, please uh, make comments on the video and I will uh, try to answer. Thank you.